decision two years ago to get rid of the middleman and clear and custody those trades in-house. I'm told this was really the first domino and what's key to watch in restricting trades this week. This, at the time, was a major investment. CEO Vlad Tenev told me a couple years ago that it would help them expand quickly. He likened it to Apple deciding to build its own chips or Amazon investing in fulfillment centers. So instead of relying on a third party, Robinhood settles and clears customer trades and provides custody for assets. That also, of course, gives them a bigger slice of the revenue behind trading. But it also raises the bar for how much money Robinhood needs to have in-house to meet those capital requirements. They need to send cash daily to the Depository Trust Company Corporation, or the DTCC. And that, of course, can change on a dime based on trading volumes. I'm told the DTCC significantly increased the amount firms needed for margin calls, especially on GameStop. Robinhood told CNBC repeatedly that this was not a liquidity issue. The moves, they said, were preemptive. Reminder, though, this did include a $1 billion fundraise this morning from Sequoia and Ribbit, who were existing investors. They also had to tap their banks for a line of credit and told some customers that they may need to close at risk positions. Guys, back to you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.